In this short movie we will show you how to use SAP predictive analysis in combination with HANA for effective data mining purposes. In the first part we will show you a customer segmentation by using cluster analysis. In the second part we will test the relation between two variables, customer age and revenue, using a regression analysis. Once started, we create a new analysis, select HANA as a data reader and drag and drop the icon into our canvas. In the bottom of the screen, we can adjust the properties and select the appropriate analytical view in the HANA database. Because we don't want all the components, we make a selection for our cluster analysis. We select customer ID, last name, first name, gender code, age, month, year and total revenue. We save and name our analysis Bicycles Cluster. In the next step, we add a filter and select the variables we want to see in our output. We select all variables except year and month in the selected columns. Now we can set a filter. We're going to do this for year. And finally, month. Again we save and run the analysis so far, so we can take a look at our data selection. For this, we use the visualization button. We can see that data is presented according to our wishes. In the bottom of the screen, we have a few other options to select. The scatter plot, for example, shows us correlation values between all variable combinations. If we select age and revenue, we can see that for all our products, there seems to be not much of a pattern. Finally, the statistical summary shows us various details on each variable, for example variance, average and standard deviation. When we go back to our design area, we auto-arrange the icons and add k-means cluster analysis from the algorithm section. We select age, gender code and revenue as independent cluster variables and choose to create four clusters. Again we save and run the analysis and take a look at the results. Here we see a new column has been added containing the cluster number for the customer. To have better insight in cluster size and compilation, we select the top cluster graph. Over here we can view the cluster sizes. Also we can see the cluster borders for each variable. To get insight in patterns combining all possible data record combinations, we select parallel coordinates. Each cluster is represented by a color. This chart gives us a quick insight in data structures and underlying record patterns. Before we go back to the design area, we take a quick look at the algorithm summary, where we find information again about cluster sizes and total length. To save our data into HANA, 
we will add the HANA writer. In here, we select the correct schema and give a name for the table to be stored. We choose for a column table. Next, we save our model and execute to actually save our data into the HANA table. The second part of this demo focuses on a regression analysis inside one of the clusters created in the first part. Again, we start by bringing the HANA reader into our working area. We select all the variables in the calculation view, where we also see that the cluster number is present. After saving, we add a filter again. Because we want to test the relation between only two variables, we only have to select age and revenue in the selected column area. Then, we add the same filters as we did for clustering, with an extra filter on cluster number 4. Next to that, we only want to focus on product category mountain bikes. Now, we choose HANA Multiple Linear Regression as the algorithm. We auto arrange and select H as the independent and revenue as the dependent variable. Again we run the analysis and take a look at our data. You can see that a new column has been created with predicted values according to the regression function. The algorithm summary, however, shows an R2 of 0.42 and an F value of about 100, meaning the strength of the relation for this product group has some significance, but it's not optimal. The last stop includes creation of an ad hoc chart where we can easily and quickly make visualizations. Here we choose for a combined column chart and line to show us the trend in actual and predicted values. With this we have completed our regression analysis between age and revenue in one of the clusters. Therefore we have come to an end of this movie and hope you had a good insight into the possibilities of SAP predictive analysis. Don't forget to stay up to date and read our blogs on intense.nl